right. I mean, I have arrived in Kosok. It's like a two kilometer hike to the place where I'm staying. And to be honest, uh, so far it looks very, very nice, very promising. <laughs> uh, I've seen a few spots where I would like to take a motorbike if, uh, if I can. It's actually kind of in, it's very small place. I like it. It has a, as I always say, certain charm. <laughs> Good wipes. <laughs> I like to repeat myself. <laughs> Just as I found my place, it started to rain. rain. It's been raining quite a long time. And I think this is because of the region. I think it rains here a lot. <laughs> okay, time to check in. Looks a nice place, a bit off. From the main road, but not far, very close. I think closer. Okay. Great, so this is my place where I'm staying. And it costed me 240 baht per night. That's cheap, that's like 6 euros 50, like 6.5 euros or something. <laughs> so that's really cheap. So now, need to think what to do, need to find food, maybe a drink, <laughs> and <coughs> need to think what to do tomorrow. That's very important. Right. a very nice place. Nan house or noon house or something like that. It's a very nature oriented like. It's very beautiful actually. And I can imagine it uh, in a non rainy season, in a dry season. Then again it rains very often here I believe. Um, anyways. <laughs> Look at the smoke, well, the fog, mist coming from the mountain. <laughs> it's like the song. Oh, Misty Mountain? No, Misty Mountain. It's like the song, you know, Misty Mountain. <laughs> what is it said, Sheeran or something? No idea. Loads of bungalows and uh, things like that around. So, this basically, there's only one road here. This is the main road. And then there's some places uh, like the side road that goes towards the side, but that's basically it. And the old thing, reason why, why this stuff is here is because of the national park, which is called Sok National Park. And I must say the nature is quite uh, beautiful here. Uh, I would like to almost stay here like uh, extend two or three days, but unfortunately, <laughs> My plans with the visa and all that shit has uh, been fucked up, you know? So I kind of have to organize myself and uh, almost rush myself to, towards Bangkok to resolve the issue. Either renew it, if I get lucky enough, for two months. Uh, the other option is the border run. Which is, oh, I think, hello! <laughs> hello! Yeah, very nice people here, so... Yeah, very, very obviously. Yeah, the visas. So the border. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Not important. At least at the moment. <laughs> Live for the moment. Right. Hmm. So this is the entrance to the national park. 
goes like that. I might go there maybe tomorrow, I don't know yet. I haven't made a plan for tomorrow. <laughs> my dinner noodles as always to be honest I'm kind of getting yo <laughs> kind of getting sick and tired of the noodles <laughs> getting sick and tired of those noodles so yeah wow. okay so tomorrow's plan is probably rent a scooter drive around see what the story and then probably I'm gonna extend for two more days. <laughs> well, it's like it's a repeating story, you know. This happens to every place where I go here. <laughs> so I'm gonna extend probably two days and uh, go to this uh, lake and stay there one night in a bungalow on the lake. And then I don't know, Suratani and maybe Bangkok. Depends from the time. Right. Now I need to find a place where to have a drink. 